Hi, this is Kevin with KGM Jam Owner Pro Advertisers Club. A totally free site to advertise. Go to proadvertisersclub.com and join for free today. Um, a new drop on Tuesday, The Avengers. Uh, one of my first and favorite comics. Glad to see it. Typical time. Uh, uh, September 14th, Tuesday. That will be at uh, 8. Pacific, 11 Eastern. I will be there if I can. Definitely. De it's only $6.99. Okay. It's still a, a blind box format, so you can get the, the secret rare. One thing uh, that I like what they're doing, and this goes to do with the team they got, and I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but he, he ran or did um, Pokemon, and I've done Yu-Gi-Oh! in the past and some of the other card games and Magic the but what they what they do is they found a way to keep uh, everybody uh, to do something for everybody. Uh, so you know, real inexpensive for one group, real expensive for the av uh, investor, and then you know, just everybody can get in on it, and that's the way they're doing. I'm glad to see that because uh, even if you got no money for six dollars ninety nine cents, you could end up with a secret rare. The very least you're going to end up with is an Avengers uh, common. So you, you can't lose unless you don't get in. And then you just go to the secondary market, which is on VV also, and pick one up. Maybe. Because after what I'm going to uh, say tonight, uh, and look, I'm not a financial advisor. I, I have no background in financing of any kind other than, you know, my personal stuff. And listen to me at your own risk. Um, but uh, entertainment purposes only. Okay, I got all that out of the way. So here's what I'm trying to say. I'm going to say right now, and I'll explain it. I'm going to try to do it under 10 minutes, that these commons, not to mention the other ones, might be worth more than Bitcoin. Okay. And and it hit me it hit me last night when I when I was watching the the really the first pump and dump that uh, it, was, it wasn't a dump it was more of a pump that's now slowly you know uh, venting uh, when I was seeing it last night it hit me like a a because here's the question I had okay let's go to here and let's go to this comic right here the uh, it's Cheapest you can get it right now is about seventeen thousand bucks, sixteen thousand. Okay, and it dawned on me that a month out of the starting gate, this NFT is a third the value of Bitcoin. Now I I don't know if they're selling it for that, but that's if you want one, that's what this that's the cheapest one you can buy right now as of us talking right now as of today okay a third of bitcoin they did in one month what uh bitcoin took years to get up to value wise now of course you know vv has a big advantage being that it's uh you know more mainstream than it was back then but the reason it's worth that or people think it's worth that is because of one the desirability of it and its rareness, which would be number two. Okay, so which means let's talk about rareness. Forget the name of the you know it's Marvel Comics. Okay, that that's the name that's the license the name's right. But let's talk about the real what's really behind this. It's the rareness of it. Okay, there's only there's sixty thousand printed. There's twenty one million Bitcoin. So now, say they drop a thousand comics, the total amount of comics dropped will add up more than you know the total of what Bitcoin is. But when you break it down into little individual groups, six hundred, I think there is of this one. That's nothing. That's that's how you all of a sudden you got it at seventeen thousand. Most people want a million bucks for it. If you go through and look at it, you know, flip, 
go into the filter and flip it backwards and look at most people want $10 million already. Not that they're going to get it, not yet anyhow. So, and don't forget it's an NFT, so it's proof of ownership. It's not, it, it, it as far as I know, it can't be duplicated, you know, type thing. You can't, uh, well, I don't even want to get into that. Let's just keep, let's keep focus on the rarity. Now, if we're talking about rarity, Thor and the House of X is rarer than Marvel Comics. And the claim to fame for this one is it's the very first comic dropped. It was the very first NFT. And, you know, it's a, it's a remake of the, or it's a copy of the original one that dropped back in the 30s, the very first Marvel comic. Okay, so that makes it, you know, collectible in that way. But there's 10,000 less of these than there is of that. And then, which is brilliant what they did here. How they made these two comics re revelant, re revelant, or whatever the word is. Uh, 35,000, almost half of this one. Okay? So now, if we're talking the rareness of something, these two are the most rare comics NFTs by about half. This has got the first, this is the first of two things, you know, but these are rare if you're going by that. Now, like I said, there's 21 million Bitcoin. Okay. There's uh, 750, 750 billion OMI. And I think only 300 millions in circulation or 3 billion or something like that. Uh, not the whole, it's not thing. And it's on the go 20. Okay. And they, the reason it's on the go 20 is because of this. If I can find it here real quick. Right here. Look at this. Go chain transactions per second, 1,300. Ethereum 15. Imagine if we were on Ethereum and they were, uh, the oh my coin was basing on that, how we would be able to, you know, even, even though it's not on the Ethereum now, and we're going by the, uh, just the gems. But but that I think that's why they started out on GoChain and not, you know, because this is probably a couple years back. But, um, and that's why, look at this, average fee for transaction. I've seen that. I bought some uh, Shiba Inu for 25 bucks and paid that much and, you know, and all that. But, but the um, Ethereum is supposed to fix that in December. And then one more quick thing, and we'll get back to the comics. This is Terra Virtua. And they only take Ethereum, so I won't work with them right now. But they got some cool stuff. If you get a chance, check it out. It's it's they don't got um, they got some pretty good licenses. They got Netflix. That's how come they got lost in space here. I don't know if they're exclusive, uh, but they got the uh, the Black Rim here and Godzilla King and all that. But um, the reason I'm showing you that, because I, I have been showing it, is this right here. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Okay, Terra Virtua, which is what I just showed you, migrates from Ethereum to Polygon to reduce energy consumption by over 99%. Terra Virtua has made the decision to move from the Ethereum blockchain to Polygon, citing Sub sustainability is the main factor. August 17th, it just happened. Okay. That's the first thing I've ever heard leaving Ethereum. And I don't know what that means. Okay. There, you're, everything's supposed to be on Ethereum. And then now you got Solana. But, um, and then Cardano, Cardano tomorrow, which tomorrow is the big, Oh, supposedly smart contract opening. But um, anyway, let me get back to the comics. So what we're talking about here is the rareness. So what's making, what's more valuable now? Is it is it this or this because of the amount produced? Okay. And that's why I say that if you just hold a common right now, all these commons, if you have one and there's only 28,000 of them, 
how how this thing could one day be fifty thousand. Of course, this thing's going to be millions, and and Bitcoin's going to go up too. So I, you know, who knows? But as fast as it's moving up, and as fast as this might take off, when you got Bitcoin, you just got Bitcoin. When you got an NFT, you've got whatever the NFT is, and VV takes it to a whole new level. Plus, you got crypto because in order to sell it or to move it, it you're going to have to convert it into OMI. If, I, if I'm saying that correctly, the, the gems just stabilize the transaction. That's all the gems are for. I mean, you could literally have $20,000 in gems. And once it's attached to the OMI directly, you even if not, you're losing money if it's sitting there and OMI goes down. If it goes up, you might make money. If you're in the, if you're the NFTs, you can make money both ways because it's all, you know, it's all tied together. So I guess what the question is I'm asking is being that the torch was not a big, you know, he was a stable character, but, you know, Thor's been around since, you know, forever. Uh, Spider-Man has and so they're, they might, and Thor's rare, you know, as far as 10,000 less. So at what point do these even catch up and maybe surpass that? This will always be the first. So that might keep it ahead of those. But let's let's put it this way. Any of these that go up will drag the other ones up in the story. But the way they did this, Hulk and what if, and that's not even the first, it's a first issue, but not the original first issue. By cutting it in half, they made it, you know, matter that uh, investors are going to want to get into it because it's a lot rarer. Okay. So anyway, that's why I'm thinking that just holding a common might really be a, a game changing, life altering wealth one day, simply because of the rareness of even a common. We should maybe call them common rares, I guess. So I I don't know if that proves anything or if I'm, I could be so off base and wrong that it, all I know is that that's true, that this is already one third of the price of Bitcoin in one month. And things are only going to get better. It, now, this didn't seem, this pump did not seem to transmit over to the rest of Vivi. I didn't see anything. I didn't look very hard, but the few things that I like to check, um, nothing really took off. Not even the Marvel collectibles uh, took off from what I noticed. So this, you know, this just might be a, a Marvel comic thing. And this might be what brings all the others up. I don't know. I don't know. There's uh, so much to learn here about it. But let me show you a couple things real quick. I'll let you go. Um, let me go down the list here. Oh, this is uh, Cardano tomorrow. They're supposed to start the uh, smart contract. They've it, they've had a problem with the practice runs. It didn't work. Remember what I said in one of my older videos that everybody's buying the car, but nobody's driven it yet. The the DeLorean. They they everybody bought it, but when they start driving it, they hated it. Well, I, I hope that don't happen with Cardano. You know what? And if it does, it ain't. I don't think it's not nothing they can't fix. It might just. It might drop the price and it might delay, you know, them getting up to, you know, they might even drop in market cap. But they're right now, they're the third in the world, which is amazing. So, you know, if that price drops, maybe that's a good time to buy and all that. But in a, a, oh my down here, uh, Ecomi's still right where I'm hoping it's at because I'm probably going to wait till uh, I can get it through the VV app. Okay, let's go to here real quick. Uh, this is why they were on go chain and they're moving to ethereum i hope they don't do it before december because transactions per second right now is 15 and i did this when i bought some uh shiba inu but that's why they're in the go chain and moving to ethereum but right here is upper deck okay this is the epac collection uh, I had a baseball card shop back in the 90s, 
when Shaquille O'Neal was real big and Upper Deck was the one of the main companies. And they're really hardly anything like they were now. They're uh, hockey, uh, but they do Disney, Marvel, and um, some college football. I think that's pretty much it. And uh, But anyway, the reason I'm showing this, there's no affiliate program here. I don't get nothing out of this. Uh, you sign up. And every day they give you a free pack of cards, okay? And not only are do can you buy and sell them and trade them, uh, th these I got for free. I get I get a pack every day. Three cards come in a pack, and um, they're just not digital cards. But when you're ready to have them mailed to you at your house, they sell you the real cards or, or send them to you. And I think you just pay shipping and handling. I don't know. I haven't checked into that yet when I find out more. But uh, go over there, sign up, and start collecting free digital cards. It's free. Don't cost anything. Nothing at all. And here's how I got caught up in Vivi is right here. I belong to Marvel Digital. And they sent me an email saying that the comics are going to drop. And I got over there just in time, like two days before the drop. I got into the Marvel Collectibles, the Captain America, and I started buying the comics. And we already talked about this. And there's one more thing. I'm trying to figure out what an NFT actually is. What am I really seeing when I'm looking at it? NFTs function like cryptographic tokens, but unlike cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, NFTs are not mutually interchangeable, hence non-fungible. And then this pops up. In economics, fungibility is the property of a good or commodity whose individual units are essentially interchangeable and each of whose parts is indistinguishable from another part. What in the hell does that mean? I don't know. I have no idea. I just thought it might mean something to somebody who's listening. So anyway, let me finish up on this. And that is the rarity of these comics. Okay. Um Everything pretty much moved up in the pump, and it's kind of going down now. So you might get some. And with the with the announcement of the drop, it's going to get even better. But uh, boy, I'm I'm excited about that Avenger drop and stuff. So uh, with that said, as of right now, I'm going to say I'm going to stick with the fact that these things might be worth more than Bitcoin one day. And if if I'm totally wrong. Let me know. Just don't tell me I'm wrong because uh, that's how I'll learn. And if I'm right, then now maybe you already knew it. Maybe you don't. Now you know, or at least you're looking in the right direction. And that's it. I will have an AM report in the morning. Thank you for uh, watching and having.